Now, the official orders uh, to anyone who breaks curfew is shoot to kill. I never did that. I never met anyone who shoot to kill uh, in this process of a curfew. But that was the orders and they knew it pretty well. They knew what they need to do. I think I wasn't clear um, if I'm enjoying the power of controlling all of these people or if I don't understand why kids look at me frightened. Why are they running away when I'm walking into the street? You know, I, I realize now in, perspe in perspective, it got to do something with the fact that I have my boots on, my uniform, my helmet, uh, my six packs of ammunition, my two hand grenades, my M16 <laughs> in my hand, but I didn't realize it right. at the time. Right. And, I, and I really couldn't understand that. Um, and I think in a very rapid pace, I realized that my job is actually to maintain an apartheid system. So these Jewish settlers that live in Hebron are living under the same rights that I live in, in Jerusalem, but the Palestinian next to them, next house over, next building over, sometimes next apartment over, lives under my rule, my military rule. And I can do whatever I want with him. I feel like I'm terrorizing people. That was actually our defined mission, to make sure that, to instill fear in the hearts of Palestinians in Hebron. And that's exactly what we did.